Hello everybody, Mr Facto to me here. Right, I'm moving on to the next part of my loco and I'm gonna do the actual boxers. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, a practice here at deviating from the drawing slightly and instead of making my actual boxers like this, just out of one complete lump of cast iron, I'm gonna deviate slightly and I'm gonna do a bit of a prototype just to make sure everything works okay. Uh, I'm going to make split axle boxes, so I'll just do a quick sketch of what, what my plan is. Uh, imagine that's my axle box. I'm going to leave a bit of material on on each on each end to uh, allow me to drill and tap. I don't know what size I'm using yet, but I'm going to drill and tap for a um, a cap head screw so that when it's in it's buried flush into one side and I've got to drill and tap it uh, beyond halfway on one side and then clearance hole on the other, other half and once I've got my holes drilled and tapped in the solid piece of cast iron I'm then going to Saw it in two down the centre line there. Then I'm going to machine the faces up where I've sewn it flat and parallel and square. Then I, I shall bolt it all back together. Then I'll machine it the bit I've left on. I'll machine the sides up to the required dimensions which is uh, inch and five eighth square and it's one inch thick and when I've got once I've got my dimensions then I shall then bore my hole in it three quarter or is it three quarter three quarter diameter hole for the axle then once that is in and everything's um, machined up, including my slots, which go will be on the side view. So imagine this is the side here. And that's going to be one inch. I've then got to m machine me my, uh, my slot in that goes into my horn guides. And there'll be one eighth of an inch on each side, and the depth is one eighth of an inch. And obviously, once I've got that in, you've got to do a bit of detailing work just to put a, a bit of a chamfer on each end like that, so the actual box can twist in the in the loco independently on each side and then once I've got all that machined in, machined in I'll then be able to undo the bolts in theory undo the bolts put the axle boxes onto me onto my uh, axle then bolt it up then if ever I've got to come to take it apart for any reason I've not got to take the whole uh, linkages apart I've just got to drop the axle down in the horn guides split the axle boxes and then they'll they'll come off individually if I ever need to either rebush it or, or do any maintenance work on it so I'm going to do a prototype and see how it all pans out right so now I'm going to do a bit of uh, cardi cardiovascular work I've marked this scrap piece of cast iron I had to work uh, the required th uh, length to allow me a bit for machining so it's cardiovascular work time I'm just going to saw this uh, down here now. Right. 
I'll not bore you with all that sawing. I've just got another half an inch to saw through and then I'm going to machine all the sides up square and we'll take it from there. Okay then, I've, I've got me my axle box machined up now. I did it in lathe actually, I didn't do it in milling machine. Um, I've left an eighth of an inch on the on both the widths because I'm going to saw it and face it up. So I've, I've not brought the widths down to size yet. I've got it down to thickness and then I've um, I've just marked off where the axle where the axle uh, hole will be drilled. And these two lines here, that's where um, that's where my groove is going to go go into go into into my horn guides. That's the depth that the, that that groove will be. And I've uh, I found these two BA caphead bolts that I had on stock. And what I'm going to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna now drill drill a hole one on each side for these caphead bolts and I'm gonna sink these bolts into one half and have a clearance hole and then the in the bottom half they'll be tapped for two BA and if you can see where my axle will come and where the inside of the slot will come, you can see I've got approximately a sixteenth either side, which should be okay. Um, so my, my next job then is to, to drill and tap these two holes. Then... Once I've got those holes drilled and tapped and counterboard for the head, I'll, I can then uh, cut this in half and then machine the faces up square, bolt it back together, then I can machine my final sizes up and put my groove in and uh, bore me hole for me axle and then when they split everything should line up so that's the plan so uh, I'll get these holes drilled next then right so I've got my holes drilled in my block now and uh, I've ended up with my two BA screws having to turn the head down because I hadn't got enough material to use a standard diameter head. So I've turned that down to um, uh, what is it? Five thirty seconds? No, seven thirty seconds. And then the head will be disappeared into the block. Obviously, the other way when I get it cut and drilled to, and tapped out and I've also decided to put two locating pegs uh, one on in opposite corners so that I'm not relying on the actual bolt to line everything up the bolt will be there to clamp it the pegs will be there to position it so I'm now going to cut this block in half. I'm just going to cut it with Axor because I've got my data measures now. So I'm just going to cut that in half with Axor. I've left myself an eighth material to clean things up. Then when, once it's in half, I'll take a skim across them faces that I've cut to get them parallel with the outside. I'll bolt it all together then and then machine it to its proper size of inch and five eighths. So I'm going to cut that in half now, just with axe Right, 
just done a little bit of uh, cardiovascular work there. I've cut them in half now and I've got to open those two, two holes out now for clearance on 2BA and tap these two holes here 2BA make some 1 8 pins to fit in these pin holes I'm going to skim the faces up now so that they're dead flat and come together dead flat and parallel once I've got the bolts bolted in then I can machine the faces to the correct width and drill the hole down the centre 